Welcome to the CSSN channel. Our topic for today is how to choose the right energy drinks or the right sport drinks for yourself or for your family members. My name is Abuzar Habibini. I have an MD degree and I'm the director of the Canadian Academy of Sports Nutrition. Subscribe to the CSSN channel to enjoy the information we share on a weekly basis about medicine, weight loss, fitness, and sports nutrition. Okay, one of the questions that we get a lot that the CSSN is this, how do I choose energy drinks for myself? How do I choose the right energy drinks for my kids? Or how do I choose the right energy drinks for my students? Today I'm gonna to show you actually how to choose the right one. When it comes to choosing the right energy drinks, you need to keep in mind a very important factor. There are, uh, I have put in here already on the board for you, when choosing any kind of energy drinks, we keep in mind actually four things. Number one, if that energy drinks is going to be for a kid or an adult, you are going to pick the energy drinks for yourself or you are going to buy that energy drinks for your children. So children versus adults. The second factor we're gonna keep in mind is if you are a competing athlete, or if you are a gym person or not. You know, there are lots of people, they are not gym person, they are not athletes, you know, they have desk job, they just tired, they just get out, pick, pick up some sort of energy drinks. And if you are competing athletes, if you are going to do endurance sport or non-endurance sport, let's say you're gonna do half a marathon or you're gonna do weightlifting, they are completely different, right? And uh, finally, the fourth important factor we keep in mind when recommending an energy drink is to keep in mind the medical condition of the person who is going to take that drink. Okay, let's see how to pick them. Any, from this day on, anytime you are going to buy any kind of energy drinks, uh, please read the label. There is a nutrition fact on it. On the nutrition fact, I'm going to show you exactly how you can interpret those numbers on the label. You're gonna do a little bit of label reading, right? Okay, the first thing that you're gonna look for on the label is carbs. Carbs in the form of sugar. Carbs in the energy drinks you are going to buy should be under 10%. Make sure the carb is under 10%. Usually we prefer around 5%, 6%. If it is over 10%, it is not good. And if it's over 10%, you have no choice but to buy it, you have to dilute it. Let's say you pick an energy drink, carb, it says 16%, right? You can take half, you know, save for next session, share with someone, add water, carb is gonna go down. Because taking energy drinks with carbs over 10% is gonna give you a stomach upset. And one more thing, if you are going to have energy drinks with carbs in it, any amount, is weight loss. If you are trying to lose weight, if you are trying to drop body fat, if you are trying to get even leaner, you take any amount of carbohydrates during your exercise, even carbs under 10%, you're gonna slow down the fat burning process, I'm afraid. Speaking about carbs in energy drinks, this reminds me of a true story. You know, five years ago, back to 2014. If you remember, we had World Soccer Cup in Brazil. In January 2014, I was invited to Brazil, you know, for an, an interview with the Medical Commission of the Brazil Soccer Federation for an opportunity to lead the Brazil soccer team. I was there for a couple of days. We had, uh, you know, long hours of discussions. And one of the questions that I was asked was this. There is a company that is going to provide Brazil soccer team and also other soccer players with some sort of energy drinks. We are hoping that your guidance, your direction uh, will not contradict those energy drinks. Basically, they are going to provide us. Basically, we don't want to piss them off. You know, it happens often in our profession as a sport nutrition specialist that actually we get stuck between politics and ethics. I asked them, do you have any sample that I can take a look? They brought to me three uh, samples. Actually, when I checked the label, carbohydrates are 
among those three drinks, one of them was 5%, 3%, and 2%. Well, I told them, well, the amount of carbs in these energy drinks exactly you know, matches with whatever usually we suggest in sport edition. But what surprised me the most was this. The same company that who was supposed to provide energy drinks uh, during the Soccer Cup 2014 had given soccer players with energy drinks with carbs under 5%, but the same company is providing the rest of the world with carbs over 15%. I'm sure that they knew that if we give, if we give athletes you know, energy drinks with over 10%, they are not going to buy it. That's why they had followed the rules over there. They had provided them with energy drinks with carbs under 5%, 5%, 3 and 2 but for the rest of the world, they are feeding them with carbs over 15%. This is something that actually you have to think why. So... The first uh, thing that you're going to keep in mind is uh, carbohydrates. The second thing that you're going to read on the label is uh, potassium. This is uh, one of the most important minerals and electrolytes in the body. Anytime you sew it, you lose potassium. Any sport drinks without potassium is not a good one, period. So you're going to pick an energy drinks or a sport drinks that contains potassium. So I put in here, potassium should be positive. Number three, look for sodium. You know, whether there is a sodium or not in that energy drinks is not a concern of us at all. That's why I put plus minus. You see, if you are going to pick energy drink, there's a little bit sodium in it, shouldn't be a problem. But if you are going to pick energy drinks that contain sodium and the person is going to take has, uh, I don't know, high blood pressure, is not a good idea, right? Number four, Vitamins. Actually, it is getting more common that people, they take vitamin water during their gym workout, during their sports competition. I got to tell you this. Taking those vitamin waters during your gym workout, during your sports competition, has no impact on your athletic performance whatsoever. It is completely waste of money. If they put over there a little bit of a small amount of vitamins, especially if they put vitamins B group, a little bit maybe C is not going to affect your performance as is not a concern of us at all. Whether there is a Y diamonds in the drink you are going to buy or not, shouldn't be a problem at all. Number five, stimulants. Usually uh, some companies, they put one of these three stimulants. We have three stimulants in sport uh, that usually you can see in energy drinks, caffeine, Guerana, Mahawang, all three of them sort of plant, right? Mahawang, other name is ephedra. You know, people, they come to me, I have uh, picked a kind of a sport drink. There is a no caffeine in it, but when I take, you know, it makes me sort of high. But when you check the ingredient, you can see there is a guerana in it and Mahawang. I'm sure everyone knows caffeine. Guerana basically is a sort of plant that has, guerana has caffeine. And also guarana has five other natural chemicals, so much stronger than caffeine alone. And this one, as you can see, mahuang or ephedra, the key ingredient in here is a stimulant called ephedrine. So if you are going to choose sport drinks, energy drinks for your children, you're going to pick the one with carbs 5%, potassium positive, whether there is a sodium or white diamonds are there or not, are not a concern, but you're going to pick the one that contains no stimulants for the children. And if you are going to pick sport drinks, energy drinks, for someone with heart diseases, high blood pressure, again, you pick with carbs 5%, potassium positive, sodium, white diamonds are there or not, they are not a concern, again, no stimulants. But if you are a gym person, you are exercising just, you know, recreationally, you are exercising, lose some weight, you pick the one with carbs 5%, potassium positive, uh, sodium over there, whether there's a sodium or not, is not going to affect us at all. Again, the same thing for vitamins. And if there is a little bit of stimulants in your drinks, 
shouldn't be a problem at all. It's going to give you a little bit of boost during your, your workouts. But if you are competing athletes, you pick the one with carbs under 10%, potassium positive, and if you are doing endurance sport, you're going to run half a marathon, you're going to do triathlon, you're going to do a full marathon, if there is a little bit sodium in there, definitely that's a bonus for you. And vitamins, as I said, is not going to help you at all, but if it's there, shouldn't be a problem. And you're going to look for the stimulants. If there is a little bit of caffeine, go ahead and there, shouldn't be a problem, but make sure that because you are competing athletes, the energy drinks you are going to buy shouldn't have mahuang or ephedra because the key ingredient in here is ephedrine and ephedrine is a banned substance in a sport. So if they test you, your blood is going to be positive for ephedrine, then you're going to be accused of doping and they're going to ban you for four years. So this is basically how you're going to choose uh, energy drinks for yourself for your students if you're a coach, for someone with medical condition, and you're gonna do a little bit of uh, labor reading. And I'm sure that uh, you'll learn something interesting today because we make science easy to understand. Now you know. If you don't wanna miss our weekly videos, you may subscribe to the CSSN channel on YouTube. To support us, you can share, like, or comment on this video. Until next time, stay safe, stay connected.